Hello guys, I've been working on this project for a few months now and I feel it's pretty much ready for demonstration. So it's going to be separated into several parts. The first part is going to be assembling it. So these are the major components that you're going to need to print and you'll find all the models on Thingiverse or on the Google site. I'm going to put links to both of those in the description of this video. You will also find information regarding all the different components like screws, motors, end stops, the control board that you may want to use and so forth. Um, some of those links will be affiliate links just in case you need a place to buy them or you can use whatever you have handy you know at your home or your location all right so we're gonna start with these main components this is the bracket and the two sliding gears and these are the two half inch spacers so you want to want to start by putting in your screws on this slider on the side that doesn't have the groove because that groove is going to go against this rail then you put in your spacers and this is where I feel you should also lubricate in here not a lot just enough to help it be smooth so this is the front so you want you want to put the, these holes towards the front then you just put in your nylon nuts and I do recommend using nylon nuts because they will help it not to come loose from all the movement so in this one you'll notice here that the screws not going all the way in or actually the nut that's because this hole is too high but in the one that you'll find on Thingiverse, I've already corrected that. So you should not have this problem. But for this demonstration, it's fine. So you want it to slide nice like this. And while it's sliding really smooth right now, once you put some tension on it from whatever you're actually trying to move with the scissor mechanism, this will actually get a little tight. See, I'm putting a little pressure. So you see how it gets tight. So that's why I recommend using a little lubricant. Um, your next step is going to be to assemble all the arms. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do two of them. And then I'm gonna assemble it and come back. So you'll notice that these have these bumps on them. So this is the front the one with these holes so with it facing you you want the bumps to be facing to your right right so put a screw put an arm put an arm then you go ahead and put a nut I just do a very rough assembly right there then the bottom one you'll see it's to the right you put the arm, put your screw, but then you want to join them. Where these meet here, 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 this I'm going to call these lubrication points that you may want to lubricate them. It's up to you. You can try without lubricating it to see how it works out for you. So as you can see right there, we have it assembled. So now I'm going to go ahead and put two up here, one down here, and then tie all the screws and nuts. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and put the rest of the arms. So now the part that we need to assemble is our prop holder, which is this guy that goes along with these two guys here. So to assemble this guy, 
you're gonna use these two L prints. Now these actually the bumps go away from each other. So this one's gonna go to the right, this one's gonna go to the right, and this one will go to the left. So basically it's gonna look like this. So that's what it looks like assembled. This is where the prop holder goes and this is the slide for the front. So as you can see, this one will go here. And this goes in this one down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie in these two and I'll be right back. Okay, now you don't wanna over tie this guy and this guy and you could lubricate here and here if you like. Basically, it should look like this. So this is where our prop holder goes. This is our prop holder. So this is basically, you can use zip ties or whatever you like to tie it onto your prop this you don't really need to lubricate because you should really tie in this to a position that doesn't move this is long enough that you could put more than one prop holder so you could put one on the bottom one on the top depending on what you're trying to hold i'll put this one in somewhere near the middle of this so what you may end up doing is put them on Put your prop on depending what it is really it might be easy just to put the prop on it first before you put it on here i'm not sure what you will specifically be using this but basically that's what it should look like so this is your prop holder so let's see that is working in the next video i'm going to go over putting the motor onto this, assembling this, and putting this piece onto here.